Gas prices are now above $5 a gallon locally, and while families are struggling with the financial pain, oil companies are pulling in record profits, and many people suspect price gouging at the pump. Money and Politics editor John Delano takes a closer look at what Pennsylvania can do about that. Pennsylvania has among the weakest laws in the nation when it comes to investigating and preventing price gouging. Unlike some states, service stations here can raise gas prices multiple times a day, and the state attorney general has no standalone power to investigate price gouging. Some state lawmakers say that must change. We're over $5 a gallon. Like, this is getting insane. And, and you know, I, I could see if these companies were in the red. You know what I mean? They're making $9 billion profits, one company, in the first quarter of 2022. That is astronomical. State Senator Marty Flynn has been trying for months to get his colleagues to pass a bill to give the Attorney General the power to investigate price gouging. What's been the response from your colleagues? It has been half haphazard, you know. Some people have been interested in helping, but you know, the majority sets the calendar. On the House side, State Representative Nick Pesitano of West Mifflin has an anti-price gouging bill that he says is attracting bipartisan support. Um, so the bill that I've introduced has uh, given the attorney general um, extra powers to be able to go after these bad actors who are just raising the price of goods on Pennsylvanians just because they think they can get away with it. It also establishes uh, a whistleblower program that allows for people to, on the inside of these corrupt organizations to come forward. His colleague, Ryan Bazzaro, is writing a bill to limit how frequently gas stations raise prices and by what percentage. These multinational corporations are taking advantage of people. Uh, it's really they're disrupting the supply chain and, and, and charging these unconscionable prices at the at pump. Uh, we're looking to put a cap on what they can do. Will these bills go anywhere in the Republican controlled legislature? Representative Jim Marshall, the Republican who chairs the House Consumer Affairs Committee, promises a hearing. So we plan to have an informational meeting or public hearings on any legislation uh, concerning price gouging this month. Is there anything the governor can do on this issue? I'll take a look at that, new at six. John Delano, KDKA News.